What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Attila and Zay video. And as you may be able to tell by the title, this video is going to be a little bit different than our usual travel videos because in this video, we are going to be going over what kind of gear we brought and how we make these videos. We've been traveling for a whole seven months, believe it or not, by this point. And in those seven months, we have gotten a lot of comments asking what kind of camera we used to shoot with, what gimbal, what gear, what laptop, what software. There has been so many questions. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you everything and answering all those questions. So let's get going. We're gonna start off with our main backpack, which is right here and it is a big backpack and it might not look very heavy but this backpack has all of our electronics in it all of our cameras all of our gear and it's absolutely heavy and this is what we travel with this is a carry-on backpack that we use when we're taking airplanes and it's a low pro backpack i'm not exactly sure the exact brand of it but shouts out to my previous job at henry's i got this backpack from them for free it was just laying around in the back room and I have been using it for a long time and it's a great backpack. So let's get going and open it up and see what's inside. And we're gonna start off with the main compartment right here. Or actually, this is not the main compartment. This is just the first piece right here. And right now it's gonna look a little bit empty because obviously we are filming with our main camera and gimbal, but we're, we're gonna overlay clips of uh, like the camera and the gimbal and where they are going. But here's usually where we keep our gimbal right in this compartment and we are using the Ronin SC from DJI and it's been a really great gimbal so far it's not the smallest one but it does its job and it carries our camera well and usually that one goes over here and then here we also have two other things some GoPro accessories we use the GoPro Hero 10 Black Edition and we have a floating handle here which we just got on Thailand and we learned our lesson because let's just say that if you haven't seen our Thailand video, we went kayaking. We're about to get stuck. Oh, yeah. Well, we fell. We fell. And yeah, we lost our GoPro. We did not have this at that time. And right away when we got our GoPro back, we got this to make sure that if we're doing any water activities, we have this because this is crucial right here and obviously in this video you guys will see all of our equipment and we'll give you an idea of things that you can bring if you're considering going or vlogging some trip and let's keep going we have another accessory for the gopro right here this handle here i'm not sure what the brand is but we got this from amazon they have all kinds of different brands and this is basically usually used with uh, motorbikes or scooters so if, for example, we're riding a scooter in a certain country, Zay will be using the GoPro on this handle right here and she'll do this and then you can see us both on the bike and that is basically it. Now it looks kind of empty like I said because we usually have the gimbal in here as well and this closes up and then now we can move on to the main compartment right here and I'm going to open it like this. And once again, it might look a little bit empty because the camera obviously is not going to be in here, the main camera, but it is still full of a lot of stuff and we'll try to go through as much as possible and as quickly as possible. But here it is. Usually the main camera goes in here and then we have a couple of other items which we're going to unbox right now and show you guys everything. So let's get going with that. We are going to start with this box right here, which is used very often. Basically every single video we use, we use this. And let me just put this to the side real quick. I'm gonna open it up for you guys right here. And in this box right here is our drone. It's a very tiny drone and it's been really good. We actually started off the trip with uh, a different drone that we lost in Sri Lanka, which is very sad, rest in peace. <laughs> But yes, this is the DJI Mini 2. I actually saw it right here. I forgot the name for a second. But we have this drone and it's been really good and it's awesome because it's basically almost pocket sized. But we keep it in this GoPro holder here. And like I had mentioned, we have the GoPro Hero 10, which we lost in Thailand, but we ended up retrieving it. If you have not seen that video, make sure you check it out. 
but we have that here which is also helpful but we don't use this every video only if we're riding motorcycles or doing water sports of course and then we have some spare batteries for them right here these things are really helpful because the GoPro batteries don't last a whole lot like they don't last a long time so we have three different batteries and this charger which is also helpful because it charges three batteries at one time so there's that and like I said the drone is essential we use it in every video and you guys love the drone shots and so do we we always love editing and watching the different perspective that the, that the drone provides but there's that we have the controller right here for the drone obviously you can put your phone in here and see everything that the drone sees so there's that and then we have some stuff that we brought on this trip that we never ended up using and we tried to ship it back but shipping costs were too much for example we brought an extra mouse to edit our videos with this is the mx master mouse a lot of you guys know this it's a very popular mouse to use when editing but we never use this on our trip and we wanted to ship it back but like i said shipping prices were insane so this was unused next up we have another lens this is the sony fe 28 millimeter 2.0 and this is what we started vlogging with in our early vlogs but then it was a little bit too tight when we're holding the camera out with zay like this and looking inside the camera our faces were really close so we ended up getting another lens the one that we are filming with right now it is the g master 14 millimeter 1.8 so this lens as well we're not using at all another item that we tried to ship back so i'll just put that pile right there the stuff we tried to ship back and speaking of stuff we never use and tried to ship back we brought a second camera this camera right here is the sony a6500 and the reason that i brought this camera along was to take photos but when we're vlogging we find that it's really hard to vlog and take photos at the same time because it just like makes you stop from vlogging and it's already a long enough time to do the vlogging so we don't really take photos we basically use an iphone 11 pro max to take all our instagram photos and sometimes the cam the, our main camera and on this camera we have the sony fe 16 to 35 f4 lens which again we don't use any of this stuff so that goes in this pile over here besides that there are chargers and everything but an essential item that we use is this right here which is an adapter which we use in all our different countries and we got this from amazon we can try and link this one in the description because this has been used every single day everywhere we ever went and it, it's an adapter with different countries so you can switch out the head right here right now we have the european head on because we are in europe and we have a whole bag of other heads which we keep in a little bag right over here actually these are gopro accessories we'll just put that to the side but right here as you can tell there are all kinds of different heads for different countries that we use with this charger so asia and everything else like that uk heads and everything and also this has two plugs over here that we can use it has two usb ports and then we also have some more adapters that we plug in here that give us three more ports so we have like five or six usb plugs at one time so we can charge all of our gear so this one right here is an essential when traveling especially when you're vlogging and besides that there are some other stuff some more extra spare batteries and battery chargers of course and we also brought this gorilla pod because a lot of vloggers use the gorilla pod of course when they hold it out like this this is the typical vlogger style when they're holding out the gorilla pod but this is another thing that we don't use ever because we use a gimbal and i find that the gimbal gives it a much better effect even though it's a lot heavier to carry around a lot heavier to hold and a lot heavier to hold out like this i find that it is a lot better since like it's stabilized it looks a lot better all the b-roll shots are completely smooth and i enjoy using it enough where i'm willing to suffer for us to have this quality and i think you guys also enjoy it because we've seen a lot of different compliments regarding the b-roll and just the quality of the videos overall and yeah so this one has not been used pretty much ever maybe once or twice in the seven months and that is basically it for the backpack we have this memory card holder here 
it's waterproof that closes up and it's shockproof if you drop it so we place all our memory cards in here but that is basically it for the camera gear so right now we are going to move on to the laptop bag and the laptop that we use to edit all of our videos which is right here and we travel with five bags in total and this is one of five then we have the camera bag of course and that is all filled with electronics all of our stuff you saw the camera bag already has a lot of stuff and this here has a lot more stuff we actually started out with a different bag that ended up breaking i had that bag for like 12 or 10 years i think and we got this on the trip i'm not sure exactly the brand it says it over here i think it's just a random off-brand kind of bag that we got at a store but we are going to start off right here with the main compartment and this one has the laptop in it and this is the only computer that we have for this trip that we use and it is a macbook it is the 16 inch macbook pro is the base model and it has done a really good good job for us we film everything in 4k and it does a decent job it does lag after a while when you finish up your video and you put all of the color correction and all the effects on it it does lag a little bit when re-watching it so we sometimes have to re-watch in half quality or a quarter in some instances but this laptop has been really really good for us it's a workhorse and it's amazing lots of ports and everything like that so we love editing with this laptop then we have a ton of different cables I definitely will not be going through and boring you guys with all that but we have USB-C cables we have lightning cables everything all kinds of adapters in here something that I do want to highlight however is this SanDisk hard drive it is a one terabyte SSD and this is what we used to edit off of and of course we have some other hard drives that we used to store all of our footage when we film videos we film every single clip and we save everything so we don't delete anything just in case we need to reuse it at some point and for memories so for that we have a ton of storage we just actually recently ended up buying another hard drive and we have 10 terabytes of storage right here this one is already full and this one is the new one it is a western digital hard drive that we use to store all of our footages so we have those two hard drives right here then we have some external batteries right here a battery bank this is essential we actually had two of them when we started this trip one of the battery banks got confiscated because it didn't have the milliamp hours on it so something to keep in mind when traveling make sure that your battery banks have the milliamp hours on it because if you do not have that then they'll maybe confiscate it and i've traveled and we've traveled with zay a lot with this specific battery bank the one that was taken away and no one ever said anything but when we we're exiting thailand they said that we don't have the milliamp hours on it and they don't know what the capacity is and they basically took it away and threw it out so now we're traveling with one which is also very important especially if you're taking a day trip and your phone starts running out of battery or like a camera starts running low then you can use that to recharge it then we have the adapter for the macbook right here we have a bluetooth speaker for the beach days over here we take this one to the beach it's small it's compact and this is what we used to listen to music there more cables so you can see we're able to build a whole mountain of cables over here and last but not least very important for those long plane rides and bus rides and train rides airpods zay has her own and i have my own and i'm using the airpods pro over here and zay also has her airpods so that is pretty much it i think we've pretty much unpacked everything the last thing i guess that we have here is a passport holder and we have both of our passports in here and some other travel documents in this one right here and we keep everything safe in the laptop bag over here and that's pretty much it guys that is what we use on a daily basis to film uh, it is mostly the camera that Zay is holding our main camera which is the a7s3 and the gimbal like I had mentioned along with a microphone you guys saw it in the overlays at the beginning of this video but that is basically how we make the magic happen we hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any comments or questions about the gear that we use please leave your comments down below like this video subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one